Hello everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about the response of low pass RC network with a spear wave input. In the previous videos of this pulse and digital circuits, you come across the low pass RC network with the different inputs like pulse wave, step input and sinusoidal input. Okay, as we know, it is a uh, part of linear wave shaping network. The shape of a sinusoidal signal will not be varied. But the shape of any non sinusoidal signal definitely varies when passing through a low pass RC network. Now, in this particular video, you are going to see how a square wave is going to be changed when passing through a linear low pass RC network. See here, the first input component here we are having a resistor followed by capacitor, whereas the output is taken across the capacitor. And this is the square wave we are applying at the input of this RC network. So the square wave we are having first we have seen step, later we have seen the pulse and now we are just continuing the same response and extending the input waveform like this to become a square waveform. Okay. So initially, I already told you the capacitor is initially uncharged for any type of network when we are considering the operation of either low pass RC network or high pass RC network, we are assuming that the capacitor is initially uncharged. That means the voltage across capacitor is zero. Similarly, the voltage across capacitor is zero in, at the initial condition, nothing but across which we are taking the output. So output is also zero at the initial condition. So both input and output are at this particular point. Now, if you see the input signal at this particular point like t is equal to 0, at this instant there is an abrupt change. There is an abrupt change in the input from 0 to let us consider some uh, V1 or V dash. Okay, and let us consider this particular uh, amplitude as V double dash. So, V dash is the positive peak and V double dash is the least or negative peak of this square waveform. Now, V dash until V dash this capacitor has to charge, the capacitor has to charge. So as the initial voltage across the capacitor is zero, slowly the capacitor tries to charge up to this particular voltage V dash. Immediately when it reaches the particular point like T by 2, what happens? There is again a sudden change from V1 or V dash to V double dash. Let us consider the strength of this signal is V and there is an abrupt change from V dash to V double dash like V volts down the capacitor does not allow sudden changes so immediately the capacitor slowly starts discharging until this point again at re when it reaches this particular amplitude and at the time instant t the capacitor has again sudden change in the input and again capacitor charges slowly. So this particular waveform will be continued like this. Okay. So capacitor is not having a stable response and it is continuously charging and discharging as the input voltage waveform changes. Now if you see the same waveform diagrammatically and we are having time instants like T1 is the on period and T2 is the off period. Okay, in this waveform, what I am going to explain here, how the response of the waveform changes, how the response of the circuit changes its waveform, input waveform, depending on different RC conditions. If RC is less than, less than the input signal time period, and if RC is incomparable with the input signal time period, and if the RC is very far greater than the input signal time period, what are the different uh, waveform shapes that we can encounter here, I am going to explain. Let us consider the waveform is having two time instants and as T1 and T2. T1 is the time instant which is a pause to peak signal or we can say on period of this particular square waveform and T2 is the off period where it is the time period for negative peak signal. So that's why we can say it is on period and it is the off period of the square waveform. For a perfect symmetrical wave. Uh, waveform we can say T1 is equal to T2 is equal to something like T by 2. Okay, then we can say it is a symmetrical waveform where on period is equal to off period where the, for that signal we will be having a duty cycle of 
Duty cycle we know T on by T on plus T of. Okay, so now we are having the amplitude levels of this particular waveform as V dash and V double dash on either sides. Now, when this type of signal is applied at the input of this RC network with a condition RC less than less than T, less than less than T means what about the capacitor charging and discharging? It immediately charges and immediately discharges. Okay, when RC product is very small compared to the input signal time period, the capacitor takes very less time to reach its steady state. Okay, that is the meaning of this RC less than less than T. What do you mean by RC? RC is nothing but a time constant. RC is nothing but time constant. Don't forget this. Product of resistance and capacitance tau. We can say tau is equal to RC which is nothing but a time constant. Okay, here T is different. T is the time period of signal. Tau is the uh, time constant of circuit. Okay, see as I said it immediately charges and immediately discharges and whereas if you are having RC incomparable with the input signal time period T, nothing but RC is equal to T, at this time you will be having a waveform like this as shown in this figure. Suppose if you are taking the product of R and C, nothing but time constant is very far greater than the input signal time period. That means capacitor takes very long time to reach the steady state. That's why the steep response will be there. A steep response will be there like that. We can say this type of waveform is nothing but a triangular waveform. Triangular waveform when RC is less than less than T. Okay, this type of waveform we can call generally call it as triangular waveform. So these are the different types of waveform shapes that are available when a square waveform with different R and C products are being considered. Now let us consider the calculation of this um, voltages like V naught one. Suppose consider this waveform and uh, capacitor has to charge up to this V particular da V dash and a voltage of V double dash in the discharging period and in the during the tar charging we are having V naught 1 as the upper voltage and V naught 2 as the decreasing voltage nothing but rising period and as well as falling period. Now we are going to calculate these two voltages individually and after substituting one on another we will be having an equation. Okay, let us calculate that. So now consider from these figures we can write the rising portion we are writing it as V01. V01 is equal to what is V01? V01 is the charging period of the capacitor during on period of the input signal. So that is why V01 is equal to what is the formula for the output voltage? V01 is equal to V final minus I am just rewriting the same equation what we have discussed in the previous class. So V final minus V final minus V initial into E power minus T by RC. This is the most generalized formula for the capacitor to charge from a minimum voltage to maximum voltage, initial voltage to final voltage. What is the initial voltage and what is the final voltage here? See if you see the waveform, see here we are taking the initial value, initial voltage as V2, initial voltage as V2. Final voltage, final voltage means up to which the capacitor has to charge, actually up to which voltage the capacitor has to charge, not up to where it has charged, up to which it has to charge is V dash, okay, understand the difference. What is the uh, final voltage for the capacitor to charge, that is V dash. What is the final voltage that the capacitor charged, that is V1, okay. V1 is the voltage that is charged up to where it is charged, but up to which point it is charged, it has to be charged that is V dash. Okay, suppose if there is no excursion from this on to off, definitely the capacitor has to charge it up to this V dash. That is the meaning of this one. Okay, so that's why the final value is V dash and initial value is V2. So V dash minus V dash minus initial value is V2 V power minus T by RC. This is V naught 1 during rising period. Similarly, during falling period V naught 2 is equal to 
consider the same notation v final during falling period means this one during this period v final what is the final voltage v double dash so v double dash minus v final v double dash minus what is initial value now initial value is v1 v1 into e power minus t by rc okay v power minus t see here uh, suppose if we are starting at this particular instant it is t is equal to 0 but now when we are taking the v naught 2 notation v naught 2 is started the value at t is equal to t1 okay that's why in the entire time axis we need to eliminate this particular part t minus t1 so it is t minus t1 okay now yet t is equal to t1 v naught 1 is equal to see here yet t is equal to t1 at this particular instant t is equal to t1 it is v v1 okay we are naming it as v1 and similarly at t is equal to t1 plus t2 at this particular point we are having v2 okay so v naught 1 is equal to v1 so that implies take this same notation 1 and 2 so from 1 v1 is equal to v dash minus v dash minus v2 into e power minus t1 by rc okay if you rewrite this equation take v dash as common 1 minus e power minus t1 by rc plus v2 into minus of minus plus v2 into e power minus t1 by rc similarly yet t is equal to t1 plus t2 v naught 2 as i have shown in the previous case v naught 2 it is v2 so from equation 2 implies v2 is equal to v double dash minus v double dash minus what is that voltage v1 into e power minus of t is nothing but t1 plus t2 so t1 t1 cancel and minus t2 by rc okay here here i have substituted from equation number two Again, if you just common v double dash that is equal to v double dash into 1 minus e power minus t2 by rc plus v1 into e power minus t2 by rc. Substituting this value of v2, this is v2, substituting this v2 in the equation of v1, see here, here take it as number 3 and take this as number 4 this is v1 so now in the second case we have obtained v2 value now we are substituting this v2 in this entire equation so substitute equation number 4 in equation number 3 ok so then what happens v1 is equal to v dash 1 minus e power minus t1 by rc plus here we need to substitute this one v double dash into 1 minus e power minus t2 by rc plus v1 e power minus t2 by rc into e power minus t1 by rc so v1 is equal to v dash 1 minus e power minus t1 by rc plus v double dash into 1 minus e power minus t2 by rc into e power minus t1 by rc and take this 1 minus e power minus of t1 plus t2 
by RC. So what we have done here is just I have taken this V1 outside from this entire and sent these remaining part on the left hand side and taken V1 as common and take, I have taken this one. Now similarly on the other hand we will be having V2 also similarly 1 minus e power minus T2 by RC plus V dash into 1 minus e power minus T1 by RC into e power minus T2 by RC divided by 1 minus e power minus of T1 plus T2 by RC. Okay. So now let us consider the square waveform we have given at the input is a symmetrical square waveform which is having equal time periods on and off. Okay. So for a symmetrical waveform T1 is equal to T2 is equal to T by 2 and the voltage levels V dash is equal to V double dash or we can say minus V double dash is equal to V by 2. That means V2 is equal to we can write it as minus V1. V2 is equal to minus V. That means the square waveform is exactly divided half on the above part and half on the below part from the reference axis or DC line. So after substituting this V1 is equal to v by 2 1 minus e power minus t by 2 rc because it becomes t by 2 into minus v by 2 into 1 minus e power minus t by 2 rc into e power minus t by 2 rc divided by 1 minus e power minus t by 2 it is T1 plus T2, so it is simply RC. That is equal to V by 2 into, see after simplification of all these, we will be having an equal uh, notation like E power minus T by 2 RC uh, divided by 1 plus E power minus T by 2 RC. So if you take the minus common from above, you can write it as E power, otherwise you can uh, uh, rationalize, suppose 1 by, in the numerator you can write, write it as 1 minus 1 by E power T by 2 RC and then in the denominator also. So both becomes positive E power T by 2 RC minus 1 divided by E power T by 2 RC plus 1. Okay. So if you assume this as X, X is equal to something like a T by 4 RC. Okay. Let X is equal to T by 4 R C then it becomes 2 X here and here also. So V 1 is equal to V by 2 into E power 2 X minus 1 divided by E power 2 X plus 1. Okay, That is equal to you can write it as simply V by 2 tan hx e by 2 tan hx similarly if you substitute the other two equations then v2 is equal to we can write it as otherwise we have assumed already v1 is equal to minus v2 so v2 is equal to minus v1 that is equal to minus v by 2 mm, it is also we can write it as minus v by 2 
tan hx. Otherwise, simply you can write it as minus v by 2, 1 minus e power t by 2 rc divided by 1 plus e power t by 2 rc. Okay, this is the way to find the voltage levels up to which the capacity is charging and discharging V1 and V2 using this low pass RC network. See what we have done, I am just uh, repeating. We have taken a square waveform at the input for this low pass RC network and we have calculated what are the different uh, states of the waveform that it touches in the positive side and as well as negative side for this. Uh, different conditions of this time constant. If you take this RC, RC is a very less value. So, capacity immediately charges and Im immediately discharges. So, no need to worry this because it reaches the steady state. And whereas in the remaining two cases, as the RC product is very small compared to T, it, it takes very long time to charge and as well as it takes very long time to discharge. That's why we have assumed uh, time constants like, uh, what is that? Uh, values like v1 and v2 at different instants in the positive peak and as well as negative peak later we have tried to find out these v1 and v2 so first we have taken during positive peak what is the voltage and during negative peak what is the voltage later we have substituted at different time instants and equated all those v1 and v2 and substituted one in another so finally we have got this v1 and v2 equations Okay, we have calculated assume, uh, by assuming that the waveform is a symmetrical waveform which is having 50% duty cycle and as well as on period is equal to negative of the off period. Uh, means uh, on or positive peak is equal to negative peak. Exactly the waveform is at the ground level. Okay, this is the output response. Thank you.